So now we finally come to the last part of the business model canvas. We've talked about value props and customer segments and channels and customer relationships and revenue streams and partners and resources and activities. And now we get to cost structure. And it's kind of ironic. We're getting to the last part of the business model canvas that can actually put us out of business. Because remember, costs need to be less than the revenue stream, at least if not on day one over time, or else you haven't built a profitable and sustainable business. So let's take a look at costs. If you really think about it, there are two general types of costs. One called fixed costs, that is, how much do my building cost, how much are my employee costs, going to show up every month, month to month, that don't move. The other things are, what are my most important costs? Uh, are there resources from the resources part of the business model canvas? Are there activities that are most expensive? Did I have to do something with my suppliers? And so I really want to understand what's the cost structure uh, to operate the business. What are my fixed costs? What are my variable costs? What are my most expensive resources? What are my mo most expensive activities? And I want to add them all up and make sure that the interaction between cost and revenue has costs less than my revenue. And again, on day one, you could say, no, 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 we're not going to make money for the next year, two, or three. And as long as your investors agree and you eventually make money and can prove to yourself and them you can make money, it's okay to have costs being a little more expensive. But you and your investors need to be in sync about costs versus revenue from day one. This is something you don't want to surprise investors about.